What is going on, you guys? It's your host, Galadon. Thank you so much for stopping by. We're talking about TV Royale today. Now, you might recall I made an episode a while back called How to Get on TV Royale. It used to be a lot easier. In fact, in the early days of TV Royale, back when the game was still in beta, I think I was there several times, as were a lot of the other big YouTubers, and there wasn't a, this TV Royale broken down into arenas either. But the algorithm, the method that they're using to select the battles that end up on TV Royale has changed quite a bit over the last year or so. So I thought we would go into a little bit of what we've seen as far as changes in TV Royale and what we're seeing now. Now back in the day, back in my day, there was three crown draws all over the place like this one just because there was so much weight given to super close matches and it doesn't get any closer than a three crown draw. Now, of course, they have changed the criteria a little bit and you don't see those nearly as often as you used to. For a while, you saw non-stop level one players beating up on the higher level players and I figured, well, this might be a good opportunity to show off a couple of the recent wins. Now, check this guy out. I, I love this. Well played and oops from the level six player right at the beginning of this battle. Now, this is on my free-to-play level 1 account that has no legendaries. So it's not just a level 1. It's also free-to-play. I've never used any gems. I've never bought any epics or any legendaries. And I'm pushing my way slowly but surely past 1,200 trophies right now. Finding overconfident players like this never hurts. Now, this guy thought that simply he could just muscle his way down the left-hand lane with rage and with higher-level cards and he would just annihilate me. Well, he's in for a big, ugly surprise in a few seconds here. Now, of course, the aspect is off on this, you guys, because this is played on my phone. That's the one place that I keep this account. My other accounts are all on iPads. Uh, but I wanted to show this because this, for a long time, was the dominant replay you would see on TV Royale. All sorts of level 1 players beating level 4, 5, 6, because there was a lot of weight given to the ability of a lower level player to beat a much, much higher level player. Now, of course, it gets a little boring after a while once you've seen a ton of these matches, but it is always kind of fun. I never really thought I'd be that guy to start a level one account and to push as far as he possibly could. But it is a lot of fun, especially when you run into players that are just not that great and I admit, it's frustrating for them. It's a lot of fun as a level one to take out much higher level players. Now, pay no attention to the screen slowly but surely resizing itself. Uh, those blue borders were just kind of annoying me, so I thought I would give this a try for a few seconds. There, it looks the same, right? It doesn't matter. You can't see the elixir bar or the, the cards of either player, right? Well, you know what's going to happen here anyway. So, I'm countering pretty much everything he throws. I obviously took a lot of damage down the left-hand side early. But Splash Control and this guy just counting so heavily on these big groups of cards and, of course, the Witch doing her splash damage. The Valkyrie now is going to get in and try to tank and check out this one right here. The Witch, the Archers, the Musketeer, they stop everybody. Goblin Barrel is going to get countered as well. And even the Skeleton Army on his side gets wiped out. No tank out in front, but I'm still going to get to the tower. And a lot of damage goes down. In fact, just about getting that tower out of the way. Finally, there it goes, Heroic Musketeer, final 20 seconds, and I had to. I Come on, you guys, he BM'd me in the beginning. He deserved this. He deserved to get a little bad manners back in his face. He attempts the enraged Goblin Barrel. It's not going to work. He gets the thumbs up from old Ebutoy Notalag. I can't even say my own name backwards. Come on. Game over. All right, and I laughed all the way to the bank. The trophy bank. Momo. Sorry, buddy. No, no. Okay, so anyway, we were talking about TV Royale, right? Okay, so, well, I'm going to show one more, okay? Because it's fun. And this is what you will still find a lot of on TV Royale, is lower level players beating much higher level players. Also, I've been told by the Clash Royale team that unusual decks will oftentimes end up on TV Royale more often than a deck archetype that you see all the time. If people are bringing in unusual cards, that is going to increase the chance that they will show up on TV Royale. And maybe, I don't know, maybe throwing a witch in front of a giant, not the best idea ever, but the counter push looks pretty massive. Squeezing in the giant in front, he is gonna get in there and tank, hopefully, for that dragon. As dragon's gonna be on the uh, Valkyrie at first. 
Then the giant gets in there, and early on, I mean, this is a lot of damage really early in this battle. The witch helping take out the dragon and that tower down to under 500 hit points before my first counter push is finally put to rest. So, lower level players beating higher level players, unusual deck combinations, and of course extremely close battles that come down to either very few hit points or little or no time left on the clock end up on TV Royale. And that's what we're seeing, although we are seeing some other very, very unusual TV Royale combos. And we'll show that a little bit later in this episode, but first we'll get through this. I think there's a glitch or a bug in the Clash Royale team's system for selecting battles. You'll see that at the end of this episode. But first, we gotta try to take down this level 4. Now obviously, I've played and beaten level 5, level 6, but this was just a super close game and I was kinda hoping that one of these would end up on TV Royale, but it's just, you know, there's so many players these days, the odds are astronomically against you for getting onto TV Royale. That's one of the reasons that I did institute that gift card giveaway where I was offering players who got onto TV Royale who were in a clan named Gallad on YouTube a gift card. I'm still gonna hold that out there. If you're in a clan that's named Gallad on YouTube that has the description that I required in an earlier video and you get onto TV Royale, let me know and I will hook you up with a gift card and a clan tournament for your entire clan. So right here, we've gotten a tower down relatively easily off of this guy. Just a matter of stopping that little mini P.E.K.K.A. And this is the thing. These higher players like this oftentimes just don't know how to protect those units from the massive groups, the timing of the Skeleton Army, of the Valkyrie. I mean, he had the cards here to protect that mini P.E.K.K.A. and he didn't get the job done. The Valkyrie would have been great. The Dragon floating over the mini P.E.K.K.A. would have done a really good job as well. But it's just not going to happen. Time is going to run out, and one of the better, bigger dominant showings I've had right here against this level four, despite the last second Goblin Barrel, I'm gonna take this one, one crown to zero. All right, now as this one wraps up, we're gonna go back and take a look at another recent battle on TV Royale. And this one right here, not your typical battle. This is a couple of players that are kind of trolling. Now, this is in Arena 6, you guys. So in Arena 6, you've got a level 1 player and a level 3 player. So both players are much higher than you would normally expect to see the average player of their level, right? And of course, this guy goes all the way to name himself, you lose level 1. So we will see if his name lives up to the expectations. Now, he does have better cards than my level 1 has. He's got the P.E.K.K.A. in there, moving in, he's got the Dragon, so a very different deck than what I've been using. But again, both of these players with relatively low level cards. And the unusual thing is, both of these players have a lot of skill. So where you would normally see a level 1 player that might take out a higher level player, because the higher level player isn't very good, here you've got two players who exactly know what they're doing. And the P.E.K.K.A. does indeed get in onto the tower! and gets a couple of shots on there between the P.E.K.K.A. and the Dragon. That tower is history. So you lose level one, goes up one crown to zero in the first 60 seconds of this battle, but this one is far from over. The level three doing a good job of trying to make the comeback here, but you're starting to get an idea of who is just slightly outplaying their opponent. Every move really precise here from the level one player countering every unit that comes in and not a lot of damage on that tower. Luca, the level three, just not having any luck trying to get units to that tower. In comes the P.E.K.K.A. That is going to just about one shot that Valkyrie trying to support the P.E.K.K.A. Looks like it's going to be the dragon up above. Now the P.E.K.K.A. dragon combination, super dangerous. There you can see the dragon is just going to annihilate any smaller units. There goes the Musketeer. P.E.K.K.A. actually not going to get to the tower this time but did a lot of damage on the way, and the dragon in there one more time, getting that right tower down under a thousand hit points. Even a well played now from Luca. He knows skill when he sees it. We're just about into double elixir now. Still a close game. Both of those right towers about the same hit points. Double elixir has begun, and Luca just can't put the higher level card advantage to use. Although again, you see he's not using super high level cards. Level one versus level three way up here in Arena 6, and we're starting to see why this battle ended up on TV Royale. 
Obviously, there is another counter, something in the algorithm that accounts for players that are out of their typical trophy range. Both of these guys well out of that range, and this battle getting close. In comes the dragon, just barely countered in time by another dragon, and that is going to make all the difference right there, stopping all those little units. Good fireball as well. The witch trying to help out, going to stop the knight. Final 15 seconds of this battle. Luca just can never break through. Got that tower down to 500 or so hit points, but it's not going to happen. And so this one, not necessarily the closest battle you'll ever see, but the reason it ended up on TV Royale, level one versus level three at Arena 6, and a solid, solid game. Okay, so now let's fast forward to the present state of affairs in TV Royale. And we're going to take a quick look at what we're seeing more and more of. And this might be a little notification to the Clash Royale team to, well, oops, maybe you should consider uh, eliminating this type of game. As we scroll through, this is Arena 1. What we're looking for right there, we saw it, was a player with a legendary card. Now, that almost indicates players that are dropping. So these guys probably, I'm guessing, both wanted to lose trophies. Neither one wanted to win the battle. Level 6 versus level 8 at Arena 1. Why this ended up on TV Royale, not quite sure. But maybe, again, it has to do with players outside their normal trophy range. Game ends and almost nothing ever even deployed on the battlefield. Thank you guys, as always. Let me know if you get on TV Royale yourself. Watch me on Beam live streaming, playing all sorts of different games. Subscribe for the earliest update and sneak peek information. Of course, as always... Have a fantastic rest of your day. Come back again tomorrow and experience more full attacks. Gally Don, how come I haven't ever made it on TV Royale? That's not right.